West till they bury me. I'm one West till they bury me. I'm one West till they bury me. I be one West to the death till they bury me. One West till they bury me. I'm one West till they bury me. I'm one West till they bury me. I be one West to the death till they bury me. I be one West to the death till they bury me. They ain't scaring me. Rip the soul out of Pharisee. Speaking heresy and get you fucked up apparently. It's like they daring me. I said chill. They ain't hearing me. They ain't listening. Every bar nitroglycerin. Hit your heart. Bring it back to start. Make you live again. Get them dividends. Or we start getting ignorant. I be on that soldier shit. I told you shit phenomenal. Nobody a domino. So what you suckers trying to do? Rhyming comical. Guess it's funny until I'm bombing you. Bring apocalypse to them pussy niggas. It's popping shit. Team up. All stars, I coach him up like I'm Popovich. Fuck the politics and the lobbyists and apologists. They vagina, so we gon' check them like gynecologists. It's kinda obvious how the situation is ominous. The way I vomit this and regurgitate for the audience. They start applauding this cause the competition is fraudulent. From the era where niggas smoke you up like a parliament. The flow been stupid, shit has gotten retarded since. All the dominance of one West rising to prominent. Cause I be one West to the death till they bury me. I'm one West till they bury me. I be one West to the death till they bury me. I'm one West till they bury me. I be one West to the death till they bury me. I'm one West till they bury me. I be one West to the death till they bury me. I'm one West till they bury me. They want a nigga quiet, mute my maneuvers. But I ride like I got group pies for Uber. Rhymes hard like they've been viewed by Medusa. Nine milli Luger, 17 in the Ruger. Only need a few to sit up in your medulla. Obligata for the regatta. Niggas wildin' they win every dollar. They ride by them black Apollos, let the semi holler. The show stop up in the but now I'm growing them off for Tona Premium of Vodka I put his tensions on the Glock, modify the chopper The small heavy war ready and that's for the mama No marijuana, say I got the loudest silence on it When I'm up on it, ain't no rapper do it like I do it A lot of spitties and writers, but when the heat's on None of them can get through the fire around with me And I had them niggas spin like a tire But down the D, and I'm still dope as a piper Every bar burn hard like a spoon with a lighter Feel the igniter, I'm winning, coming through with the title Because you eat yeah. Everyone west to the death till they bury me I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. Give me. Fourth chapter and one, World War Three was prophesied in the Bible, and it's going to happen. And there's nothing you can do against it. Why? Because what's found in this Bible will happen. The God of this Bible does not lie. If He says He's going to make something happen, then one day it will happen. And World War Three was prophesied in the same Bible. When you get that, read it. Malachi four and one. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. World War Three, that day is coming, it's gonna burn as an oven. Why? Those bombs are gonna burn everything up. That's right. It's gonna burn the whole world up. Why? Because every race has been oppressing blacks and Hispanics, and that is the uh, punishment that God is gonna bring. World War Three, that it's that day that's gonna burn everything up. Read it again. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And that day is coming. World War Three, which is going to burn everything up as an oven, read. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. All the proud and the wicked, they're going to be destroyed in that, in that way because those same people were not following the laws of God. All those wicked people that thought that book is old, guess what? They're going to get caught up in those same bombs too, read. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. Say us the Lord of hosts. That day is coming, which is gonna burn them up. That is World War Three. Those bombs are gonna burn everything up. Why? Because the people of this world do not follow the laws of God. This world has been rebelling against the commandments of God. And that's why that day is gonna come, where it's gonna burn everything up. Read up. That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. It's gonna to totally wipe them away. Not even a root, meaning the flame is going to just turn them into ash. They're not going to even have a bit of them. Why? For all the wickedness that they have done, read, read up. But unto you that fear my name. Now unto you. Now to be afraid of God means what? It means that you keep the commandments. So unto the people are afraid, read. But unto you that fear my name. 
shall the son of righteous arise with healing in his in his wings. And David, guess what? What what does it mean by the wings of the Most High? It means the protection of the Most High. Yeah. So for those that are afraid of God, those bombs ain't gonna harm you. Yeah. Ain't gonna harm your wife, your kids. Yeah. Ain't gonna harm nothing. But unto the wicked, they're going to be burnt up. They're gonna be destroyed. But unto the man that is afraid of God, he's gonna be protected. He's gonna be under the wings of the Lord. Read. And you shall go forth and grow up as calves of a stall. And you shall tread down the wicked. Guess what? And in those last days, you're going to walk upon the wicked. All the people that hate God, you're going to walk on them. And that's found in the Bible. This ain't our words. This is found in the same Bible you can buy anywhere. That's right. It ain't anything that we wrote. And in those last days, you're going to walk all over them. Why? Because you're the people that was afraid of the Lord. You're the people that kept his commandments. You're the people that said, you know what? I'm going to stand by the Lord regardless of anything. Read. For they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet you're going to walk upon those that are destroyed they're going to be ashes under your feet in those bombs once once world war three hits up you're going to be safe and guess what you're going to be walking all over them and we just read it we just read it in the bible from there to the um, isaiah the ninth chapter and the fifth verse so going all throughout the bible showing that world war three is in here the last war is in the bible this bible is a prophetic book and it's talking about World War III, which is about to happen. Read Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of a warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. So what is Isaiah on about? It's talking about the wars in the past. It's with noise. But guess what though? He's talking about this next war and he's going to describe how this war goes. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Yes, now World War Three is going to be what? With, with burning and fuel of fire. With World War Three, it's going to be with fire and burning. It's going to be with bombs. That's the word that Isaiah was about. We are warning you. We don't want no harm to happen to no Israelite man. But guess what? If you don't follow his laws, you're going to be caught up in that war. So we're here warning you from God. In the Bible, it says, warn them from me, not from us. We're warning you from God. Why? Because God in his Bible ain't no joke. God in the Bible will take your life, black man. He ain't playing. And in the Bible, we are out here warning you from him. I tell you that World War Three is on the way. And we're here warning you that if you don't want to die in that war, there's one thing that you have to do, return to the Lord. And guess what? To return to the Lord is an action. And the action is to keep his laws, his statutes and commandments. You can read that again. For every battle of a warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. The World War Three, it's gonna burn it up. Fire, flames, death, why? Because this war ain't gonna be like no other war that you've seen in the past. Uh, from there give me the 14th chapter and the 12th verse. So going all throughout the Bible, showing that World War Three was prophesied in the same book, Zechariah the 14th chapter and the 12th verse, when you get that. Now, us at the ICPK, we are here warning you from the Lord. Why? Because the Lord don't want none of us to um, die. But guess what? If you don't change, then then you are going to die. It's just the way how it is. When you get that, read it. Zechariah 14 and 12, and this shall be the plague wherein the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem now, the most High, he's going to let you know what's going to happen to all the people that fought against us. Read. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Now, what thing can make a man skin burn while he's standing on his feet? Nuclear bombs. Right, That's right. what can make your flesh burn while you're up on your feet. Read. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. Your eyes are going to melt away in their holes. A nuclear bomb has that ability. World War Three and those bombs are found in the Bible. And that's what God is going to use to smite all the nations that have fought against us. Every nation that has fought against the black man. Why? Because what you've done to us is wicked. The black man doesn't even know who he is. The black man's following religions. He doesn't know who he is. And for that, God's going to bring World War Three on every race. Read that part again. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite 
all the people that have fought against Jerusalem, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their flesh is gonna consume away while they're on their feet. Nuclear bombs, World War III is found in the Bible, and God's doing that to every nation that has oppressed the Israelites, the black man. That's right. That's the punishment. Read. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their eyes are gonna melt in their holes. Nuclear bombs have that ability. World War Three is in the Bible, read. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And their tongue gonna melt away in their mouth. Research it, nuclear bombs are the only thing that has that ability to make that happen. That's right. And God's gonna use it on every race that has fought against us. That's right. I'm just reading the Bible. If you hate me, don't hate me. Hate God, why? Because I'm reading the word of God. That's this is right. found in the Bible. And this World War Three is for everyone that fought against the Israelites, the black man read. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Everyone, that's the plague. All right, from there, give me Isaiah 54, chapter and the 16 verse. So all throughout the Bible, World War Three is in here. You know what I mean, religion don't know the Bible, but us being the men of the Lord, under commanding General Yohanna, we're out here telling the black man to change, to repent. Now the word repent is an action, and if you look at the word repent, it means radical change. So black man, we're here telling you to change. If you're off weed, stop. If you're into any religion, get out of that religion. If you're into anything that God hates, stop that. That's what repenting is, it's an action. So from there, give me Isaiah, the 54th chapter and the um, 16th verse. Isaiah 54 and 16, behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and bringeth forth an instrument for his work. Yes, so now, these people that make them, so now, the people that make those uh, arms, God has made them, That's he's right. put that invention in their mind. Right. They didn't just make it by themselves. God's put that in their mind. Why? To start World War Three. read. And I have created the waster to destroy. And guess what? The waste that is those bombs. Those bombs waste lands. Those bombs waste towns. That's right. Those bombs waste the world away. Why? Because God is using that for everyone that has fought against us. Right. God put an invention in their mind to, to destroy everything. We, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. But guess what? For the righteous men, no weapon formed will prosper against us. Guess what? The men that I SUPK, we ain't afraid of no bombs. We ain't afraid of anything. Why? Because we follow the Lord. We follow his commandments. That's why no, and like, that's why nothing that they make will ever prosper against us. Read. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. David, we're going to condemn everyone that rises against us. Everyone that says that, you know, we don't understand the word of the Lord. They're liars. We do know the word of God. And guess what? We're going to condemn all of them. In these last days, you're going to see who the real men of God are. And guess what? It will always come back to the men at the ISUPK every time. Why? Because we can show you everything in the Bible. Everything we do is found in the Bible. And guess what? Even in the last days, we're telling you what's going to happen. And World War Three is found in the Bible. Um, it's like, um, is there anyone there? Uh, I know so from there, give me Proverbs 16 and 3. So now we're going to show you in the Bible that even the man that even makes, the, so now even the man that invented them, that was an invention of the Lord. Yes, he kindly made it, but that invention came from the Lord. When you get that, Proverbs 16 and 3. Proverbs 16 and 3. Commit thy words unto the Lord. 16 and 4. The Lord have made all things for himself. Listen to what the Bible saying. The Bible saying, the Lord made all things for himself. So even the man that made the bum, the Lord made him for himself. At the right time, he's going to use that exact same man. The Lord have made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. And the man that made the bomb, that's a wicked man. And the Most High made him for that day. And guess what, what's that day? That wicked day is World War Three. The Most High put the invention in their minds. So that what, in those last days, 
he can use that to destroy everyone that has rose up and, um, against us. Right. Right, so from there, give me second and eight eaters, three and ten. So we're going all throughout the Bible, prophesying and showing you that World War Three is in here. This Bible ain't no religious book. This Bible is a history book from, from the beginning, even to these last days right here. When you get that, read that. Second Peter 3 and 10. Second Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. So listen to what that's saying. It's saying that the day of the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. What does that mean? Meaning World War Three is going to start really fast. It's going to happen on a day when you didn't even expect it. Read. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. What? With a great noise. Guess what? With that noise, it's those bombs. You know what I mean? It's going to happen instantly, black man. Read. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the elements are going to melt. Only bombs have that ability to melt iron, lead, copper, brass. That's bombs in the Bible, World War Three, And the elements are going to burn. And guess what? That day is coming. And also the ISGPK, we're here to warn you that you must repent. As said before, the word repent means to radically change. We're here for you, black man, telling you to change so that you don't get caught up in what's about to happen. World War Three. read. The earth also and the works that are therein. And the works that are sucky bit again. The earth also and the works that are therein. And the works, everything that you see, everything, the roads, the cars, the buses, everything is, everything is gonna be destroyed once World War Three starts. Shall be burned up. Shall be burned up. Everything's going to be burnt up. That's down in the Bible. World War Three and the bombs is all throughout this Bible. That is the day of the Lord, and we're here to warn the black man. Till they bury me, I be one west to the death. Till they bury me, I be one west to the death. Till they bury me, they ain't scaring me. Rip the soul out of Pharisee. Speaking heresy, it get you fucked up. Apparently, it's like they daring me. I said, chill, they ain't hearing me. They ain't listening. Every bar nitroglycerin. Hit your heart, bring it back to start, make you live again. Get them dividends, so we start getting ignorant. I be on that soldier shit. I told you shit phenomenal. Now nah, but your domino. So what you suck you trying to do? Rhyming comical, guess it's funny until I'm bombing you. Bring Apocalypse to them pussy niggas just popping shit Team my all-stars, I coach them up like I'm Popovich Fuck the politics and the lobbyists and apologists They vagina, so we gon' check them like gynecologists It's kinda obvious how the situation is ominous The way I vomit this and regurgitate for the audience They start applauding this cause the competition is fraudulent From the era where niggas smoke you up like a parliament The flow been stupid, shit has gotten retarded since All the dominance of one west rising to prominent Cause I be one west to the death till they bury me I'm one west till they bury me I be 